it's Keller with FreshyVenture.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily organize your affiliate links. And quickly, I'm going to explain to you what you're going to need uh, to follow along with me in this video. Uh, if you're an affiliate marketer, I'm sure you know what it's like to be completely overwhelmed with affiliate links, commission percentages, affiliate program logins, and passwords. So hopefully this video uh, will help you out with all of that. Uh, first off, you're going to need Microsoft Excel or a spreadsheet software of some kind. Next, you're going to need the names of your affiliate programs. It's very simple, just the names. Uh, then you're going to need the affiliate program website URLs. Now, this is the website address to each individual affiliate program, not the links you send to your blog readers or customers, uh, but rather the, the links that you use to actually log in to your affiliate programs. Uh, you're going to need your affiliate logins, which includes your usernames and passwords. You're going to need your affiliate links, and now th this is where I'm, I'm actually referring to the links that you would send uh, to make commissions off of products. And then you're going to need your affiliate commission percentages. So let's get started. Go ahead and open up Excel or your computer's spreadsheet software. And what you want to do is start in the first row in Excel in your spreadsheet. Go ahead and, and put in the following fields the name of your affiliate program, username, password, affiliate link or ID, and then earns or you could put commission there. And then go ahead and start filling in the information. So I'll just use my website address as an example here. So let's say I um, am signed up for an affiliate program with Freshy Venture. Uh, so just go ahead and type in the name of the company. And then what you want to do is right click on that field that you just entered uh, and go ahead and click on hyperlink and we're going to be able to now put the link to the website to that affiliate program login uh, onto this field so we have to put in the entire URL starting with HTTP colon slash slash www.freshyventure.com click OK and the link you want to put in that is the link to your login area of that affiliate program. The place that you go to check your traffic, how many times uh, you've had click-throughs, how many sales you've received. So go ahead and link that to this field. Let me darken that to make sure you can see it there. Okay. And so you're going to actually be able to click through to your affiliate program login pages from this spreadsheet. So this keeps it really handy. You can also keep, of course, you can keep um, you know, these addresses bookmarked in your Internet you know, Explorer uh, browser or Firefox browser, but you can also do it here. And then go ahead and enter in your username. So I'll just put in fresh and your password and then your affiliate link or ID here. Now this is going to be the original affiliate link that you get for the program. Don't put your cloaked links here. Uh, go ahead and, and put what the affiliate program actually gave you as your link or as your ID. And oftentimes affiliate links are pretty long, so if it, if it takes up too much space, all you have to do is double click in between the columns and it will resize it to the largest, um, uh, the largest sized field on here. And then earns or your commission, you just want to keep track here of how much you're earning on this affiliate program, so go ahead and put 30%, let's say, or 50%. Now, if you want to go a little uh, further with this, what you can do is go ahead and make another field for your cloaked links. And cloaked links, of course, um, mean that you've uh, done something to that link to make it appear as if it, it is a, a link to a web page on your website. And uh, I actually have a video on how you can very easily cloak your links, so you may want to check that out. Uh, but you can go ahead and keep track of your cloak links here. And that actually is a really great thing to do because, you know, if you're sending out an email to someone, to a, a connection, uh, you want an easy place to find all of your cloak links and perhaps all of your logins in one place. And if you want to keep, you know, maybe the support number for the affiliate program or their email address in here, you can do that as well. But really, this, 
these fields are uh, the most important, at least uh, the most important that I've noticed for my spreadsheet. So this is the information that I have in mine. And so every time you sign up for a new program, go ahead and open up the spreadsheet and fill out this information. It's very quick to do and it will save you so much time. Uh, it'll keep you organized. So I hope this helps, um, helps you organize your affiliate links and your affiliate programs a little better. Go ahead and save this file on your desktop or somewhere else that's going to be really easy for you to get to. So if you have any questions uh, about this video or about how to do this, um, you know, you might be viewing this video on YouTube, but I also have this video posted at my blog, fresheventure.com. So go ahead and, and check it out. And if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them on that post on my blog. And I will be sure to uh, answer any questions you may have. All right, so this is Keller with Freshy Venture. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you later.